Hey, if you resin 3D print anything, but especially fishing lures, you need to go buy yourself one of these bad boys right now. Affiliate link in the description, which if you click and buy, I will make five cents. What is this thing? What does it do? Why is it so cool? Stay tuned to find out. So this is a dental UV curing light wand thing. If you've ever been to the dentist, you've gotten like fillings or caps or anything, they put really UV glue, UV resin in your mouth. Hit it with this thing, it sets, and away you go. You got beautiful teeth. Not like me. But this thing is super, super cool for resin 3D printing. So why is this better than everything else I've tried so far? Flashlights are large, cover broad areas, and usually, you know, you don't really want to cure big, huge areas like that. That's what you have a curing station for. Uh, when you need to get inside of a model, a fishing lure, whatever, uh, you need something smaller. So this gets smaller. This is about eight millimeters in diameter, and it's quite a bit more intense than any flashlight I've found. The other options I've seen are these little UV uh, LED lights. Uh, they're smaller. They're three millimeters, right? This is about eight um, in diameter. And so you can get up into smaller areas, smaller holes. But when you're printing fishing lures, a lot of time you have extremely small holes, one millimeter, two millimeter, etc. And that's where this thing really shines with this add-on. This is a little model I made, super simple. There'll be a link to it in the description. Um, it's I print it with TPU. It doesn't really matter what you print it with. TPU is just a little more forgiving when you slide it on there. And then I glue a little piece of plastic fiber optic cable on there. And then, ooh, look at that, bro. You can get just about anywhere. This is, I think this is half millimeter fiber optic cable. So I also made one with a larger diameter fiber optic cable. I think it's two millimeter. And all the links to all this stuff is in the description, of course. But, um, and so you can see, still bright, still transmit. Actually get a little light leakage out the side, which is pretty good. This allows you to shove it up in areas that are really relatively difficult to get to and might not have cured completely. And what happens if it doesn't cure completely? Well, over time, in usually a few weeks, it'll just explode because that resin is still inside there. It's still going to try to cure. It's going to do all kinds of bad stuff. And if you've ever seen anybody post a picture of like, why did my resin print explode? It's because there's uncured resin inside. So this is specifically made for smaller openings. Again, I usually do pilot holes for my um, screw in eyes. This will fit right up in there. You can also use these for curing the inside part of your molds to get that super shiny finish. And that's it, really. These things are not too expensive. I mean, I found them for like 20 bucks. There's some for some reason that are hundred bucks. I don't know, this one was the $20 version. Seems to be fine. One thing I do like, it's rechargeable as well, USB-C, so you're always ready to go. So that's it, go buy one. Links in the description below, and if you wanna see the full breakdown of that shiny internal mold cavity video I made, click right here. Take care, Tad Labs.